Okay, so I'm here with uh, Inside of a Golf Tech Lesson with Monday Q, Ryan French. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Nick. I heard you're an awesome golfer, so that's I want to see this. The, oh, boy. That's yeah. not the intro we're looking for. No, that's exactly is... why I said it. <laughs> uh, go so sideways. here's what we'll do. We'll hit some shots. Then okay. I, want, I just want to film a few swings, okay. see you in action. Yeah. See you in action. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we're going to go over to that fancy touchscreen TV over there and do a little whiteboarding of your game. Talk about what you're not good at, which is probably a lot of stuff. <laughs> and uh, if, I, if I don't fill that whole thing, then we'll get back over here and hit some more shots. <laughs> Chunked. Wow. <laughs> that was so bad. That was pure. 140 carry on the first one. Not bad though. Oof. I'm just going to keep going with our theme of bad, <laughs> mainly because I shouldn't swear on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. So inconsistency with the full shots, and that's still the miss hit shots. 80 yards or less, it gets even worse, it sounds yeah. like, with that one. And then near the green, there's no pattern at all. Um, but okay. I, I would actually, this would be fun to do that, whether we do it today or not. Yeah. Um, this is uh, something I find very easy to help people with okay. um, because it's, the problem recognition is almost the same thing every time yeah. uh, when people have problems. Um, but this one and the inconsistent contact with the full hits, we can mm -hmm. do that too today. That'd be fun. Um, how long is this video supposed to be? I mean, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't know I if mean, I have that. I, kind of, I need to go well, home editors, sometime today. Yeah, it's a Friday. Editors. I mean, <laughs> Godspeed the people behind the camera that have to make this into a 12-minute video. Yeah, Evan's not doing anything <laughs> later. It's fine. And I want to show you the issue that you might have with the low point of the swing. So Colin has the shaft just about parallel to the ground. Mm -hmm. And you can see if I could draw a line straight down from the butt end of yeah. the club, it's almost over the ball. Okay. All right, now let's do something like that with you. Notice how the butt end of the club here, yeah, is straight behind. down yeah. is too far back. So what you're seeing there just in a 2D view is the, the way that you can hinge your wrists up and down. Yeah. On the downswing, yours start to unhinge too soon relative to yeah. Colin. It yeah. doesn't mean you're even doing anything right or wrong, but just yeah. to show a difference there. When Colin continues down further, he doesn't hit behind any of these balls, obviously. <laughs> he would have a different interview question <laughs> session here with me. You can see how I'm one frame away from hitting the ball and how far forward the shaft yeah. is. Yeah. He's got the butt under the club now pretty near his lead yeah. die. When you do the same thing, we're almost in the same spot right about here, yeah. I guess, showing the shaft running through his um, his shin like yours. And you might notice that now you have the butt end of the club yeah. almost over the ball. So it's just happening much later. Yeah. The angle between your shoulders and your arm right here is a little bit more acute even yeah. than his. Yeah. So there's a there's a rate that you want to pull your arms down okay. away from your, your chest yeah. and the uh, rate that you unhinge your wrist. Those okay. are the big problems as to why you hit behind this ball. Yeah. A lot of your swing is really good, but you are, if I wanted to hit behind the ball the most, yeah. the first thing I would try to do is put the butt under the club at impact or at this picture even, I just keep moving that further back. Yeah, you know, yeah. It'd be a way to design there's no chance I'm going to hit the ground anywhere but way back here. Yeah, okay. So you got a little bit of that. Yeah. Now, there's easy ways to practice this, and I think it'll help you a ton with the contact, too. Okay. So you say sometimes you miss hit these yeah. shots fat and yeah, thin, yeah. but they're all often not quite centered. Yeah. So we're going to practice specifically how to do this. I want to keep going on the rest of your swing just to let you see some more here. This would be about, this would be an interesting point in time. So I'm stopping these when... I'll go one more frame just to be generous for you over here with Colin. Okay. Generosity. Remember that. Yeah. I want you to, after I after we leave, all the I'm sure all the Twitter comments will yeah. say generous, a very generous guy yeah. that Nick is. Yeah. There's the butt end of the club. It's essentially middle of his thigh or yeah. a little further. Here's the butt end of the club for you. Yeah, just like Same spot. Yeah. But now you see such a difference with the angle of the shaft yeah. and especially relative to your lead arm. Yeah. So you're using the club kind of like how you would use a, 
or like you might see a windshield wiper go grazing across yeah, the, yeah. Uh, your windshield. Yeah. So when you're doing that, you're just changing. You can see how the club head gets lower here, yeah. gets further away and gets lower again. And you're just playing like a game of chance of how you're gonna do this yeah, with your right. windshield wiper. What we're gonna practice is how to uh, do the windshield wiper, but you're gonna keep moving the butt end of the club at the same okay. rate of the club head or yeah. closer that way. Yeah. And then you might notice there that the length of the swing or how high the club is off the ground is kind of staying the same. Yeah. Uh, easier said than done, but I've only done this a few thousand times, so okay. I'm pretty sure. Great. Um, Look forward to it. I think you can do this too. All right. Okay, so uh, step one on this one is just understanding how to do that. Yeah. So go ahead and hold the club. Okay. All right, extend your right wrist backward. Got it. Yeah. Keep your lead elbow really straight. Okay. And I'll just position the club right there so that it's in line with where the camera's gonna look here. Yeah. Now, what I want you to do is make a, a backswing and follow through where you don't change your wrist bends at all through that swing. Yep, just something like that. That sort of feel is what yeah. we're gonna practice by hitting a ball. But okay. first, I wanna make sure you kind of get it. Yeah. Now, you are doing something that's very common when people practice this. When I tell them, keep your right wrist bent the same, don't yeah. change the wrist flex at all. When you hit this, you need to have the face angle just straight ahead, yeah. and it will twist a little bit through the ball, but you yeah. won't do that by the lead wrist extension and rolling your forearms that way. Okay. That makes sense? So yeah. it's back uh, extended with your right wrist a ton, yeah. keep the chicken, turned enough so that the face is straight, yeah. and then you just keep going through the ball, okay. and don't even change your wrist bend on this side. Okay. And when you're swinging really fast, this will start to change yep. your wrist bends because the club is going a lot faster than your hands are, they change their bend. The problem with what you're doing and what a lot of people do when they hit behind the ball, when you get close to the ball, where you should still be pushing the, the club longitudinally like towards yep. me more with your hands, yep. they slow down too soon and the and windshield wiper like kicks in. Okay. So we're gonna practice how to do the acceleration like this. this way longer yeah. before your wrists start to extend. Okay, so like okay. more of this. Yes, with this. enough twisting yeah. of the face so that yeah. it still aims straight. Yeah. Perfect, that's yeah. pretty good. Okay, now when you put all that down on the ground, yeah. go ahead and lower the shaft down. Yeah. Just to address the sweet green turf we have here. Yeah. A good way to practice this is first start with the shaft more forward. Okay. And then we're gonna start really small and I wanna film one of these where you don't move the butt into the club yeah. and move the club back to where it's parallel to the ground. Got it. And then you're gonna punch the turf and try to do the same form that we were just describing where you don't change your wrist bends. And then keep moving through the ball until the shaft's parallel to the ground over here. Follow through, perfect. So that high, and you're still gonna try to keep your uh, the chicken, mm -hmm. exactly like it was when you hit the ball. It's a rooster, you know that, right? Yeah, oh it is. <laughs> and then keep that extended. So you're trying to get to this destination. Okay. A good way to practice that is just to almost not even make a backswing, punch the ground and get to here. Yeah, okay. Okay, do that again. Good, you missed the ground on that one, so that tells me <laughs> there's some windshield wiper on it. Good. Not even being snarky on that one, <laughs> pretty good. All I'm doing is just extending your right wrist more yeah. by pushing on your left wrist to okay. stay flexed longer. Yeah. Okay, let's hit one. Good. I'm trying to get where the shaft's parallel to the ground and you have the butt end of the club in the middle of your trail thigh like that. Yeah. That's really nice. Okay. That relative to the first one will yeah. look tremendously different. Keep going. Yeah, so it's a head right there. Yep, shaft's more head. Now the part I would caution you to do, or just that is important, is through the ball, as you start pushing the shaft forward longer, it's, e it's easier to leave the face angle wide, wide open, open to your target. Okay. A lot of people shank. There's more yeah. to it than just push the shaft forward. So when you get through the to the follow through side, yeah. where the shaft's parallel up here, you want the toe of the club just pointing up. Okay. That way you, I know that you're not gonna just hit too many of these to the right. Now yeah. this one you did fine, but if yeah. you do start to see these go to the right, yeah. know that you've gotta do a little bit more twisting of your form. So that's pretty good. You aren't able to do anything much faster than that. That's really good with how your wrists aren't extending or changing flex very yeah. much through the ball at all. So let's do like three or four more that way. I don't do the lip thing when I have a half oh, swing. You know, I forgot about that. You wanna show that one yeah. real quick? Okay, quick little zoom. <laughs> And that thing, like, what is that? that you, I, I don't know. I, like, do you do that like often? I don't know. Any other I time I noticed it on Twitter, like uh, a guy named Luke uh, pointed it out. I mean, and it got like a thousand likes. It was just a screenshot of that. Yeah. It's very obvious and noticeable and weird. It is super yeah. weird. It's yeah. bizarre. Like, right. how many people have you taught, and how many times have you seen that? I see a lot of weird faces, but I haven't seen that one. <laughs> 
quite the same. That's good. Okay, so let's hit one a little harder, as if you're going to hit this one. That last shot carried 18 yards. Carry yep. this one 100 yards, okay. and then still hold your follow through like you okay. did previously. So a long, hard punch shot. It's pretty good. You're not hitting anywhere near where Skytrack Plus should be grabbing these and it's still capturing these shots. So nice job. That's really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're not even to a hundred yard shot yet, but yeah. you, do you notice anything yeah, different yeah. with the contact and the yeah, strike? Yeah, hundred percent. I yeah. mean, so you couldn't do this enough. This would be like a way to warm up. Yeah. Um, Just do this drill. Yeah. Okay. Monday Q. Yeah. Here's what we kind of talked about as some of your problems, the, the inconsistency with the full swing. Yeah. Some, but this one is kicking your butt. And we discussed the lip thing. Yeah, a yeah, new a new one for definitely need for to do golf better. Tech. Yeah. Yep. So we've got uh, uh, plenty of places to start. So first, the, a good way to start would be say five lessons that you'll take yeah. with a coach in a bay. Um, a really good place. Then we didn't look at it, but you do have some archaic uh, uh, clubs. So it might be okay to take a look at a fitting. And sure. I don't mean all of them, but that putter is. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's it's old. Uh, then five more lessons in a bay would be a good uh, good place to Who continue. Who writes a five like that? Is it kind of you don't like that? Which deal is what this one better? What the hell is this on this? What's that? It's kind of a straight line. Sometimes these the screen it's is wild. really smart and it curves it together. All right. Um, not this time though. But thanks for you know. Uh, <laughs> pointing out all of my deficiencies in life. That's yeah, cool. No so after 10 lessons in here, you'll be way less bad. We'll yeah, throw in less. some lip practice yeah. here along the it way. It might be three lessons by itself. Then a good path from that point is just to do like a playing lesson. Mm -hmm. So watch you on the course and see if uh, how much of this is either better or if you might have forgotten some things. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that are also a problem. I'm sure you drink a lot. Maybe there's something in here that you forgot now because uh, of today. Then you've got uh, the, a way for a coach to be able to take a look at what, what else might be wrong if this is getting any better. And then you start revisiting like back some time in the bay again. Yeah. Another five lessons there. And you just kind of rinse and repeat that, throw in some of the just dedicated short game practice. Yeah. as well on the 80 yards and in on the course so on the grass yeah. while well, i'm a huge proponent of you can get a lot done here mm -hmm. in a short amount of time that's why pretty much every top 100 teacher that i meet anyway Is has there? an indoor studio yeah. or wants one there's mm -hmm. a lot you can get done here right but you need to be outside and we do that all the time mm -hmm. our coaches are always available to do that do another another five or so and pretty soon you're you're down here to where a lesson every other week yeah. Um, is a pretty good path for you for an entire year uh, to get in a spot where I think we can solve most of your problems. And if not, then you should know exactly what to do. And you also have the opportunity to reevaluate any kind of goals you have now. We didn't really talk about what you want to shoot for a score. We yeah. did off camera, but uh, these are just the annoying things. You want to hit the ball better. That's how you do it. All right, Ryan, we're all done. Uh, what'd you th did you like me first? No. <laughs> did you appreciate what we did? That's the first time at Golf Tech, a new coach. I didn't want to ask you that question, <laughs> yeah. but I thought it'd be fun to hear what you had to say. The Hughes guy sounds way, way oh, he's better. He's so much he better did. than I am. Long beard, he yeah. looks weird, but whatever. Uh, uh, no, seriously, uh, again, lo love to like, I don't, I don't have any way to look at what I've done wrong, so, or what I can improve. It was awesome to see my swing. Scary to see my swing in some parts. You most should parts. be you should be afraid, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's awesome to know, to be excited about what's ahead, to know that I can get better. I think there is some parts that I are all right. Yeah. So it's like it's yes. it's it's really nice to know that there's going to be things that I will be taught that will make me better. So yeah. yes, go to your local golf tech, get some lessons. That's a good idea. And improve. Hey, Thanks, it was mildly fun to be here with you. <laughs> it was mildly. It was. There's That's worse enough. and we better things that can be done. <laughs> it was mildly fun. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>